tell you what are the transmission methods of this roller conveyor. In this position, we use a transmission of bevel gear. Do you know why bevel gears are used? Ah, oh, and then let's look at the second one. The second type is this. This is a belt. Among the belts, this one is called more belts. More belts. Okay, and then we come to the third one. The third type is also a belt, a transmission in this form called the European belt. Euclidean belt. Then, the fourth type, which is also the most used, is a chain transmission. This is the chain of the chain, and the double row chain is used. It is better for us to use more of these for kinds. So let's take a look at one of their differences and options. First of all, when this double row chain is used, it is generally a medium load. For example, the load is generally 100 kilograms, 200 kilograms, or tens of kilograms. We can use it. I use this kind of chain length more, but the noise will be louder. If it is used, it can also be used for medium-sized and large-sized children. Usually we install the motor in this middle position. Then the motor drives the chain on both sides to achieve a run. Generally, it is a way to hang one by one. Solid line. Ah, uh, if you want to learn this dart design well, then let's take a look. Oh, uh, what about his motor? Why put it in the middle? It is because the chain and the bearing inside will be damaged during the delivery process. If you put the motor on this side when it starts, for example, the transmission efficiency of our chain is generally 0.95. So 10 are 14 squares of 0.95. Multiply by the power of our motor, better than a kilowatt. If you put it in the middle, he is 5 here and 5 here. Then just multiply by the fifth power. His loss is not that big, you know. So when transmitting, it is the force on both sides, such as from this side to this side. The force on both sides of him is the same. If you put the motor on the side, the force in his position and the force here, he, he will make a big difference. That's a big difference. So the general motor is placed in the middle. So let's see the second kind. The second kind is this obelt. As you can see, the obelt is also a motor, usually placed in the middle. Then wear this shaft in the middle, transmitted from two wheels. And then this side, we have just crossed to twist this. Out eyes. In this way, the cross twist or mainly the contact area is larger. And then, I, you can achieve a certain one, which is a little tighter structure. Tighten up. If the European belt transmission is used, it is usually a cub and a conveyor. When the cub is transported, its stability requirements are relatively high. It's not that big. If you are a chain, the vibration will be larger. This O-shaped belt has a more stable delivery. Generally, the delivery is relatively small. For example, we deliver this kind of glass. Oh, right. Then you can use a concave belt. What can also be used? Use this kind of more tape. More tape. Ah, if you bring more, this is the kind. He is also a hang-up. What about his narrow sum, usually medium-sized narrow sum and tens of thousands, right? Then, the output speed can be faster. You can also use a form of timing belt. The timing belt is also okay. Generally, if there are more belts, it will be him. Ah, uh, better yet, in our drum input machine. Because he can buy it directly. That's it, the roller. Okay, and then what about the motor here? We also put it in the middle. This is an electric drum. Electric drum, this is the electric drum. Then drive both sides, and just run it with the belt. Usually small and medium-sized loads. Then this, if you use the electric power to stop. One of his is when installing. Because you don't need to power on both sides, you don't need to do it, and the rest will be more compact. Because it is also a double layer one here. Okay, this is the third type. The last type is the fourth type. And the fourth type is a rack and pinion, a gear, called a bevel gear. What about a form of bevel gear? As you can see, uh, when he was transporting, his one narrow and ability will be greater. Uh, because here, for example, we pass, pass this shaft. This shaft rotates to drive this gear. Well, he won't widen the center distance when he transports it, will he? Oh, we can use chains or belts. When the chain is hung, it is easy to lengthen the center energy of the belt. That is, for example, the belt or chain is lengthened. 
after elongation, because this one has no chapter wells, so it will. I, it is special, and it is easy to wear out. So when we design, if you are a particularly large load, use this gear. This palace of it will last longer. Okay, so this is a production line for a cylinder block. Ah, uh, the whole thing is like this. Thanks for watching.